Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Yuki. This is the MR04 battery-powered doorbell camera with Chime. Now, this is an interesting product because it's going to give you 1080p HD video. It's IP66 waterproof. It's got two-way audio, night vision, and motion detection, and it's got a built-in rechargeable battery. We're going to check this out now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is everything that you get. Once you get the, this out of the box, you're going to get the chime and, of course, the video doorbell itself. We're going to set those aside for a second. You do get a warranty card from Yuki. You also get the MR04 user manual. This is written in English, and it's in good size print, so you shouldn't have any problems navigating through this when you're trying to get everything set up. Now there is a battery that is built in here that is rechargeable and you'll get up to 90 days or three months in between each charge. They do have the Cloud Edge app and you can get that for iOS or for Android as well. There's a lot of good information in here uh, just showing you the LED statuses uh, and what they mean, how to set everything up. Uh, so hold on to this just in case you need it. Now, if you live in an apartment like I do, uh, you may not be able to uh, drill holes uh, to mount this. Uh, but they do give you all the mounting hardware that you do need. If you do want to mount it, you can easily do so. Uh, they give you two reset pins as well, and I'll get into that in just a few moments. You can see the mounts on the back here. Uh, now, there's also a uh, option for people like me who rent, uh, and this is a double-sided sticky tape that you can attach to the back, and then you can attach this uh, to whatever surface you're going to be mounting to. So you don't have to drill any holes. You're not going to be breaking any uh, leases or anything like that. So that's a very well thought out. Now they give you three AAA batteries here, and that is for the doorbell chime. Uh, and you can set this anywhere within a range of uh, the doorbell so that when somebody rings the doorbell, say you're upstairs or something like that, you can put it on your desk. Uh, you'll be able to hear this uh, when somebody rings the doorbell, which is great. So what we've got inside of this is a rechargeable battery. And again, you'll get up to 90 days of battery life per charge. They do give you a charge cable hitch with standard USB type A to USB type C cable. And you can use any laptop or PC's USB or more commonly an AC to USB adapter uh, to get it charged up. Again, you're only going to be charging this maybe every 90 days or so. So looking at the device itself, you can see there's a flap there for USB, and this is weatherproofed. The unit itself is IP66 weatherproof. You can see there's a reset button there, and there's also an LED and uh, your charge port. So when you plug it in, uh, it's going to uh, light that LED up, and you'll be good to go. Now you've got your doorbell chime here at the bottom. You do have a PIR motion sensor in the center and your lens. You do have a speaker at the bottom. Uh, you also have a release hole here uh, to take this out of the frame, which I'll show you in just a moment. On the back, we do have those mount holes again. Nothing on this side, nothing on the top. And you do have a microphone right underneath this uh, sensor, the motion sensor as well. So you will get two-way communication with this. Full 1080p in HD. So and that is pretty much it. Uh, what I'm going to do is unlatch this and show you guys how to open it up and take it out of its case if you want to leave the case mounted somewhere and then charge the device. So what you're going to do is take one of these and you're going to stick that in the hole and you can see that it releases on the side here. There's a little space you can get your fingernail in and then you can just pop the camera out of the base, which is great because then if you have this mounted somewhere, you can pop the camera out, leave the mount in, and then you can recharge the camera and you're good to go. You can just pop it back in. Now next to the USB or charge port, there's a micro SD card slot. Uh, if you don't want to use cloud storage, you can use up to a 128 gigabyte micro SD card as well. So there you go. That's the unboxing and everything that you get in the package with the doorbell and chime.
Okay, so now we're going to get this set up and we're going to use the Cloud Edge app. Uh, so I've got both of these ready to go. Uh, you're going to want to hold down the doorbell ringer button for just a second until it turns on. And what it's going to end up doing while it's booting up is it's going to go into a blinking mode like once every one or two seconds. That means we're ready to set up. Let's use the Cloud Edge app. Again, you can get this for Android or for iOS. You can add something by either hitting Add Device or the plus button. We're going to go to Smart Doorbell and we are going to set this up. Now you'll hear this in the background Please as we go. It's device. going to talk you through the setup reset process device. here. Uh, so it'll tell you if you need to reset the device, hold the reset button for five seconds to reset everything. It's going to ask you for your 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi uh, name and password. Uh, and it's going to ask you if that is correct and you're going to select OK. And now it's going to tell you to hit the connect button. It's going to take you to your Wi-Fi settings. And you're going to see that in Wi-Fi we have something called STRN and a bunch of numbers. So we're going to connect to that network. Now this is the doorbell's network that it's broadcasting. And once we are connected to it, I'm going to say connect only this time, we're going to go back to the app. Once we get back in the app, it's going to detect that we are connected directly with the phone. And what it's going to do now is it's going to upload our Wi-Fi uh, SSID or name and password to the doorbell so that it can reside on our Wi-Fi network. You can also see that the doorbell light has turned a solid blue now. Now this takes just a few seconds and it will upload this information and register it to the cloud so that you are now going to be on the Wi-Fi network. And that is pretty much as easy as it gets. So now you can rename your device here uh, if you would like to. Uh, it's going to show you how to install things at the appropriate height. Put camera and phone at the place of camera installation. And we're just going to hit to next for a diagnostic. Process. So it says right now that my Wi-Fi signal is weak. I am uh, pretty far from the router, but you can see that we have no problems and there I am behind the camera. Setting up the chime is also easy. There's a wireless button on the chime itself. Uh, and you're just going to have to hold down this wireless button uh, until you get a blinking LED here. As you can see, it is blinking and ready to go. That means it's ready to be paired to the doorbell. So all you have to do is hit the doorbell button. And there you go. We are all paired up and ready to go. Okay, so once you're in the main app, you can hit the settings option here and you're going to get your battery level, your Wi-Fi, uh, your time zone, alarm management, receiving alerts, image settings, sharing the device with someone else, uh, and you also have tons of other things as well. Of course, turning on and off your motion detection is here. Uh, we do have uh, image settings. Uh, for our anti-flicker and for our uh, night mode, whether we want that to be automatic or stream only in color or stream in black and white using the IR LEDs. You can share this device with another person if you would like to as well. And we have a ton of other options here as well. Your time settings, sound settings, video encryption, chime settings, voice message, AI intelligent analysis, battery management, record management, and cloud storage and you can also link this with Amazon Alexa if you have like a Amazon device like an Echo Show or Google Home you can check for a new version you can remove the device and you can reset the device right from here and wireless chime we can set the chime from four different options and we can also change the ring volume of the chime as well so you do have all of that right here uh, to change it up a little bit if you don't like how loud it is you can uh, turn it down and you can uh, select from four different pre-defined uh, sounds so battery management in here as well telling you your battery life uh, your scheme of charging electricity usage statistics uh, and your power supply mode whether you're plugged in uh, or on battery power
sound settings for your microphone, recording voice, your speaker, and your speaker volume, because remember, you do have two-way communication with this camera. So once we fire it up here, we'll take a look at the picture that we get. Uh, you're gonna see uh, that we have an SD and an HD here, uh, depending on how you want to uh, set this up for your streaming. Uh, and we can also pinch the zoom as well. So if you need to zoom in, you can do that. We get a pretty good uh, picture here and no problems. Uh, you have live history and cloud underneath this, a history for your events and cloud for your cloud storage. You can snap a screenshot real quick and it'll save it to your gallery. You can hold down the intercom to speak to the camera and you can record a video, turn on and off your motion detection, and you can use the siren to scare people off. Let's check that out real quick. So that should be loud enough to scare off anybody that's not supposed to be at your front door. I did mount this outside, so I want to show you some quick footage of what I got recorded outside as well. Mounting this outside was a breeze, no problems whatsoever with the included double-sided 3M tape. No drilling required for people that don't own their households. Uh, worked out perfectly for me. Let's take a look at some footage. Now here is some footage uh, from right outside my house. Uh, you can see uh, that it comes in nice and clear and it's got a good field of view as well. So you're going to get a, a nice wide field of view on this. Images are crisp and clear and I didn't include any audio in this uh, because I knew I'd be talking over it anyway. But of course you can record in full audio as well. Now the last thing that we're going to talk about is night mode and you can choose to have it on uh, black and white. So let's turn out all the lights here. Uh, get this completely dark and you can see it takes a second to switch over uh, but once it does we've got that black and white IR LED there that lights up the scene very well so I don't have any problems with that at all uh, you can choose to not use the uh, automatic IR LEDs and do color but that would mean you'd need a second light source uh, but this works out just fine so there you go, that's my review of the Yuki MR04 battery powered doorbell camera and chime. Uh, the things that are good about this is it's got crisp a video at 1080p HD. Uh, it's got some good night vision. It's uh, weatherproof, IP66 weatherproof, two-way audio. Uh, you do have motion detection and of course that built-in battery that's going to give you up to three months between each charge as well. Overall, I'd have to say that this is, uh, if you're looking for a doorbell camera, you might want to put this on your short list. I'm going to give it a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I hope you enjoyed my review, and I'll check you guys out on the next one.